hello my loves how are you doing welcome back to my channel my name is says paulo and today we are going to make chicken but before that we are going to unbox this small shopping that i got and i got a few things that i needed food keeps running out and i have to keep fueling this body so we have no choice but to keep going to the market to buy food but i want to start buying things in wholesale because i'm tired of going to the shop every three weeks or one month or two weeks yeah i wish i can just buy things for six months and never have to go to the shop again and as you can see i always buy the necessities i don't really buy unnecessary things these are things i have to buy i cannot survive without them some tissue some washing powder some dish washing soap uh antiseptic some udi and we have some do we call these tacos or rotis the kenyan ones they taste a bit different but anyway you can make tacos with it you can make rotis with it you can make any wrap with it and it's very nice that a kenyan brand has made one of them although the chapati breaks very easily and the sugar is a bit too much it's a step further because now this is a kenyan brand before you had to go to food plus to buy one that i'm not sure is kenyan but this is festive which is very nice then i got some tangawizi tea some maziwa mala two of them there and always make sure when you buy maziwa mala you put it in the fridge immediately because it goes bad real fast and then i have some long life milk here i love drinking tea so i cannot survive without milk some yogurt for our smoothies more milk because tea i take tea like four times in a day before i used to take coffee but i had to replace that with tea because coffee can interfere with your weight gain in akushibisha and then i have some juice here afia i didn't know they have these packaged ones like this so i decided to try it and it was okay then sugar some mayonnaise some nor beef cubes these are tomato pastes coconut cream and some food color that i bought for reasons i don't understand because i don't want to be taking such things but anyway i bought it and i'm going to use it to bake and i came this new mustard it's a caputei honey and mustard and it's really nice i have used the caputei cooking sauce and it was nice the spaghetti sauce and now i love the mustard oh and i forgot to mention the lemonades because i love love lemonade the safari one it's like the only soft drink i actually enjoy drinking i don't enjoy drinking soda and i have some chicken here and i got this chicken from chicken spa this is where i buy my chicken nowadays and so this is the chicken that we are going to cook today i have had terrible stories with chicken so at some point i got scared of chicken but since i discovered a chicken spa i am confident in what i'm consuming you guys i will take you on a tour of that place and you can see how they have good quality very clean and they deliver chicken from as early as 3 a.m so if you are also doing business you can order from them because they do wholesale retail they deliver you can also go to their shop i know the one in gara but they have different branches i will take you on a tour very soon so that you see what i'm talking about and i'm going to put their details here in case you want to buy chicken you can order chicken from them and tell them says sent you Mwah. in a mixing bowl add one or two tablespoon of olive or vegetable oil Add your preferred spices but to achieve the same results that i did these are the ones that i used measure the portions based on your taste buds some garlic powder paprika cardamom cumin powder chili powder and don't forget your salt the most important spice that we need and then you mix it very nicely and then we're going to apply this to our chicken and massage it very nicely just so you know this was my first time using this recipe so i went a bit overboard with the spices so you can reduce yours but if you don't mind your chicken spicy this is perfect but if you are 
not so into spicy food maybe reduce the portions and then i went ahead and added some soy sauce because why not every time i try to do a recipe i have to go ahead and try things i didn't even plan on like i added these other kinders beef seasoning that i got from my boo and yeah it added a bit of a change although this is meant for beef i put it in chicken and it turned out amazing these are drumsticks and they were so huge that i had to make so many incisions to make sure that the spices go inside they were so big that even after i cooked my all my friends who tasted it were like hey is it kuku ni kubwa so when you go to kuku spa you're sure you're going to get quality for your money quantity and quality all in one You can wear a pair of gloves when doing this part but my hands are very clean and I have short nails on so it doesn't bother me. I put the chicken back in a storage container so that I can put it back in the fridge to let the spices absorb and it would be best if you leave it overnight but I didn't have enough time so I left it for like three hours and then I'm going to lay it on this foil here and we are going to bake it right now my oven is preheating and as the chicken was waiting in the fridge I decided to make muffins and these are the first muffins I've made by myself I've baked before with my big sister but this is the first time I did it myself and these are banana muffins so i just mixed banana flour sugar some eggs and then i put it here and i didn't use any baking paper i lined my baking tray with olive oil and it worked perfectly my muffins did not stick to my baking tray and i also added the food color that we bought so our muffins are going to be a bit interesting Baking the chicken and the muffins together will also ensure that we save on energy. So we're killing two birds with one stone, making dinner and breakfast. It's a meal prep for a whole week, literally. As this gets ready, I washed the dishes and in no time, everything was ready. The muffins, as you can see, they turned out so good. And using food color is not such a bad idea on muffins. And as you can see, they are not sticky. I've removed that one and it did not stick to the surface. Yay! Now I'll be able to have both breakfast, lunch and dinner all made from home. I want to even make bread. And also the chicken is here. It's all so ready Ooh. but i had to take the chicken back just for a little while because i wanted it to be super super cooked i don't like seeing chicken that's not fully cooked i don't want to see any red on my chicken it smells so good i wish i had some rosemary to add to it but anyway it smells amazing and i'm going to store some in the fridge as it is right now baked and then i'm going to add some to another sauce we are going to make in a few minutes so don't go anywhere and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like share and subscribe as we go on the chicken was smelling so good i couldn't wait to finish cooking so i decided to take one piece and bite and it was amazing i'm definitely going to bake chicken more than cooking it because baking gives you the luxury of being able to do other things as you cook because once you set the timer and the temperature you can go ahead and go as far as you need to because you don't need to keep on turning the food because it won't get burned so expect to see me baking more than cooking in the videos coming up
if you'd like to see a detailed video of how i made this sauce i'm going to link a video of where we did such a sauce but it's basically blending in your cooked tomatoes and onions and then you add your milk and coconut cream or any cream that you want to add to and then you just come and add your chicken on it so that you can get some sauce to eat because i'm going to have this with my tacos and i'm not going to cook my tacos or eat them raw i'm just going to place them on top of the pan just to burn them a little bit and of course to warm them because i've stored them in the fridge you can have these with any other accompaniment of your choice either rice ugali chapati whatever you want even mandazi <laughs> You can either have it raw or you put it on the pan like you saw and you put your sauce on top of it, your stew, your vegetables like this. Or you can cook it as chapati and you eat it. Kama chapati, unakata and then unavurunya, unaonja and that was our beautiful beautiful recipe for today i hope you enjoyed it you've gotten some new ideas on recipes to make you don't have to eat boring food you can switch up the same food to make it interesting and imagine adding vegetables here or a guacamole Mwah. Have a lovely weekend my loves i hope i'll see you in the next video and happy new month in august don't forget you are awesome you are beautiful and you are loved ciao ciao Mwah.